Hello and welcome. So today we're going to attempt Vortex Elite on Gion and see if it's possible. So let's start on just easy because we, you know, it's probably not possible if it's not easy. So first of all, what we should have done is picked Geraldo. We're kind of going to be relying on the ace pick on here. The ace pergon is going to, you know, the ace pergon has full map range, which means, like, the gear won't turn it, which means, like, it won't, like, be affected by the gear, if you know what I mean. God, I'm playing so suboptimally. Okay, if you're not playing suboptimal, you get dot wave one, and you get your other wave one as well, but you do not put them in the same spots like me. There we go. That's better. So this is how you do it. Hi. Hello, Sinta. We just started. You came right on time. Any tips for the current race event? I haven't even played it. So, I don't know. Maybe just look up a guide if you use guides, but I don't know. Races are not my jam, for sure. That's, what, that's the thing. Okay. Alright, we got an NFT Bailey on Wave 5, and then after the NFT, the NFT is signaling them with that Geraldo is not strong enough, and Geraldo wants to casually leak balloons. I don't know. Let's, you know, I'll give a Cypher to help Geraldo, you know, to, you know, like, reduce a skill issue of Geraldo. I think it needs it. Even with a Sniper, it's struggling, but it's doing better. Yeah, there we go. That seemed pretty necessary. Oh, great. Now we have no Geraldo. All we have is a sniper and a dart. And the dart isn't even targeting where it's supposed to be. Wow, this is going to go great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far, it's going great. <laughs> yeah! Go, Sniper Dot Obby. You could do it. You could do it. You could do it. Alright, let's place our first bomb down. You know, we, need, we just need to greet. It's a fact of life. Okay, the sniper is actually doing a better job. Okay, now we have the sniper, the Geraldo, and Dart. This is going to be better. We should probably go for a Druid of the Jungle at some point. Some point means pretty soon. Alright, come on, Sniper and uh, Geraldo, don't lose this for me. Okay, let's get down our druid, and this druid will help a lot. This druid will be the key to victory here. Alright, we can sell Sniper and get the druid. And then now our defense is actually better. You know, it's good. There we go. I think we got ourselves out of the deep rabbit hole.
I love how the Druid of the Jungle has like a range around it, but it's like a full map tower. It's funny that all full map towers have like a range around it. Like the sniper does. It's funny that the range is just incorrect. Maybe they want to like balance advanced intel or something. I don't know. That way you don't just get like one camo vision sniper and have great advanced intel. You know, maybe that's not what the game wants. So I think that's the reasoning behind that. So ideally wave 27 is when we could get our IMF loan. Let's see how much we have to spare. We also need to deposit a, gr a good amount. Hmm. I'm not sure if this is good enough. Worst case, we could retry to wave 20 if we're being suboptimal. We uh, deposit literally everything we have. Okay, this is good stall. I think this is suboptimal. So 6917, we need a discount and we need two banks. Let's see how poor we are. Yep, not even close. So we retry from 20 and I think a better way would be like 30. So how many IMF loans do we want? Ideally like 8. But you know 5 is alright too. I bet 8 is possible if you're going like super hardcore with Geraldo. But like 5 is really what I want. Okay. So let's get an IMF one wave 29 and try to stall good. And let's see how much this leaves us with. Let's see if this is a, a, juicy, a juicy deposit or not very juicy. You know, that's like the necessary deposit. It's not overkill, but it's not underkill either. That's probably the deposit we need. Okay, good, Druid of the Jungle Stall. Great stall, great stall. That stall is very bridge. Yeah. This is also bridge, bridge stall. At least we got the IMF ability that we could use. So now this is kind of like an IMF farming guide, but on easy, not medium. Let's camo potion that. Yeah, ain't no way we're getting seven IMFs.
Yeah, five is all he could get. Just a funny five. And now we're heading into 37, where we have to like begin our last cycle here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even close to eight. Let's get a uh, Gary's Fire, and, and it looks the most cursed thing ever. Gary's Fire on a farm. It's actually not that cursed, but whatever. We could, ass we could assume it's cursed. For my sake. Seventy five K. So tier one should pr be pretty chillax. Just like an elite defender. Oh, actually, it's not very chillax. Why? Why I say that is because. If the vortex will blow back, and then, yeah, then 42 comes. Oof. Forty two is not gonna be chill ups. That's all I have to say. Besides the forty two, the brutal forty two, which we probably have to retry because of that. Let's just retry and place a sniper better this time. God, that was that was such a stupid error. Who cares? Well, that was skill issue. Oh god. Okay, weak. Let's overclock the elite defender. That way, you know, we could just get things over with faster. You know, we could get this intense tier 2 on. If tier 1's this intense, I can't imagine how bad, like, tier 2 would be. Bruh, okay, two, two skill issues, two skill issue. Skill issue counter 2. Let's put in an even more optimal placement this time, right over here. Oh, yeah. You're right, you're right. I didn't, that didn't even come to my head. If this doesn't work, I'll do that. Please leak that red balloon. Nah. The game doesn't like me. Fudge. Okay, that was not... Okay, okay, okay. You know what? That was not really due to uh, due to the, the moving of the gear, but that was kind of due to skill issue. So yeah. And maybe we could just chill and keep it on force. We 
we probably could do strong shenanigans on waves like 44 or something. Please. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This game is tough. I think strong shenanigans should be soon. Like strong shenanigans now. Okay, well, what I'll plan to do is max DPS, play it like a ranked boss, and that way we have more ways to farm. But we have like 12 lives, which is kind of brutal. Okay, nice. Come on, bruh, bruh, this game is tough, this game is tough, this, this game is just hard, what can I say, maybe you know what, I'll just chill and keep it on first, and you know, just do it the lazy way. Let's fertilize this. But then the deeps is too weak when we just keep it on first and don't do anything. Ugh. And I'm not a big fan of weak deeps, which is what we're getting. Okay, strong. You need glue storm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. That totally helps with just one sniper. Of course I do. Now I feel like that's a little excessive use of glue storm right there. That I feel is excessive. Gluestorm is not good with like that this little. Okay. 47. Okay, weak of you, weak of you. Nice. Why is it not shooting through its shield? I don't understand that. But what about but we're doing it, we're doing it. We are doing that. Nice. Okay, we beat tier one. Now what? Now never miss A, out buff, yada yada yada. Monkey City, and then like two central markets ish. Can I fit two, please? Game, will you let me? Well, the game hates me. The game who hates me, moment two. Ugh. It was just a few, just a few pixels off, too. Pain. Well, let's put turn faster forward on because we don't really, we don't need to do anything much here. We just chill. Oh, there we go. We got it. No! That was a skill issue. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Fudge.
With Joel, though, it's more like clean up on aisle seven. It's funny that Geraldo says clean up on aisle seven when there's not even seven aisles on the map. Even on single lane tracks, it says clean up on aisle seven. I think it should be aisle one instead. Aisle one just seems more logical. Alright, let's get Monkey City. And let's actually find do, doing boss and not skill issue. Strong, please. Nice. Why is it not shooting through its shield? I don't understand that. Oh well. Okay, good. The camera potion's still on it. Not skill issue, not skill issue. Okay, leak correct. Nice. That's a great leak. And I want to kill it on 47 if that's possible. I wish it shoot it through its shield. If it did, then we would do it on way 47. But no, 48 like last time. Still not terrible. Now we get a never miss with camo. Let's also change my ability hotkey to ability uh, to just one. Save. There we go. That's more convenient. This game. This game is brutal and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This game is tough. <sighs> and, you know, even is more of a skill issue. I got upgraded my village to the wrong cross path. That's a skill issue as well. God, I'm just full of skill issues today. You know, maybe I'm going to restart and, you know, get more lives. I think that's what we're going to do. That way we could actually do this better. First of all, I should have got NFT wave 1. Oh, well, skill issuing. Okay. Since we are faster forward, this isn't as tedious. Okay, we got a Quincy action figure, boy, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. Oh, God, I'm skill issuing. Same thing here. Quincy action figure now. Suboptimal. It wasn't even uh, the money wasn't right for some reason that time. I have no idea why. Okay, I think the money is gonna be right this time. Thirty-three, thirty-five. Nice. Now a sniper on strong. That does a trick. Until we get up the farm. Um, 
to our farm than druid. Please don't lose, please don't lose. That'd be convenient. If we drop below 100 lives, then we're not in a good spot. Oh my god. What the crap did I just do there? Okay, that's why I don't like faster forward. Let's turn on faster forward. Maybe we could do seven instead. Yeah, that's better. Alright, now we get an IMF long wave 30. Pause it. So below a hundred lives is bad. Let's wait this wave out. And then yeah, we got a good deposit. Let's go for a second Druid of the Jungle as well. And then we can deposit back into the IMF loan. Collect all. And then go for fifth I the fifth I the fourth. And fifth eye math. Okay. This was at the what was it O two forty farming was actually pretty chill. Okay. Alright, we're back where we were. We're back where we were. There we go. And we have 102 lives instead. So 102 lives will make a huge difference. Now we could sell a Druid of the Jungle, and then one of them will allow us to leak. Why is it not, but why is it like not like, what's it called? Why is it not hitting through its shield? That's so annoying. I actually think my spot was better. My spot hit through the shield. I'm not even mad. I'm going to retry. That way this spot hits through, actually hits through the shield and actually does what's supposed to do. I have no idea why it didn't hit through its shield, 
but I guess it did not. And you know the result, it happens. If it happens, it happens. Yeah, there we go. That's hitting through the shield. There we go. There we go. That's better. That's better. Nice. But it should be on strong, though. I don't even care. That was actually kind of suboptimal, but you get the gist of it. That's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to have two Druid of the Jungles like I did. There we go. One Druid of the Jungle. Lead King, and it doesn't hit through its shield. Hog. Let's make it so it does hit through the shield, please. Please hit through the shield. That's all I want to know if it does. Nice. Okay, this is way better. Okay, now that's better. That's actually what we want to see. That's what you want to see, baby. But what you do not want to see is a sloppy... Okay, but you... Wait, okay, okay. You want to see that, but you do not want to see the sloppy... At your village placement. We should also get full, go for a second overclock. Make sure to fertilize. Okay, good. Then now we chill here until we get like a central wave 50 or something. Let's, you know, let the overclocks be up. Good. Then let's see if we could get a banana central now. Nope, we're short. Debt sucks, debt sucks, debt sucks. I hate debt, I hate debt. What? Yeah, yeah, debt sucks. Well then. Second Central Market. Hello, Sasha2987. Welcome in. Welcome in. Alright, hopefully I could get my 
Hopefully, uh, I've already uh, uh, let out my skill issue. Okay, hopefully we can get a central now. Banana central after death. That's really close. Maybe I could, you know, squeeze some money out of it and then get a eight, never miss mid round. That's, I think, what we're gonna do. Squeeze. Okay, we get an ace. Why is it a bomb of ace? No, I want the never miss. I want the never miss. Okay, okay, good. We will eight. We will eight. There we go. There we go. That's what you're supposed to do. Come on. Okay. Second opal clock. And then what are we doing for tier two? Tier two should be simple, just a ray of doom. I think we have to um, place our farms more optimally and less skill issue. So to do that, we nudge this. Please be in range, nice. Um, that was close. I think we need a second ever miss, personally. Okay, second ace. We could fit it here, right? Yep. The placement doesn't look tight, but it is tight. Okay, good. How is it still struggling with the balloons even after he got the second never miss? I guess they're, you know, cheap, so, you know, it makes sense. So let's get farm. Can I fit a farm in a village? Yes, I can. But no three farms in range of it, sadly. Okay, triple overclock, and then tier two is going to be pretty chill. It's going to be like a ray of doom. But you know it's not going to be chill. What I'm most worried about is tier five. Tier five is not, ain't going to be chill at all. To speed up the way of doom, we could get a homeland. 
because I do not want the Ray of Doom to even c come close to touching my central because my central is valuable. Protecting, protect the central at all cost. There we go. With the homeland, it's easily getting knocked back more than it's moving and it can't escape the entrance. There we go. The Ray of Doom is handling this with ease. Yep, Vortex ain't escaping the entrance, and we beat it. Okay, the central wasn't stunned, and that was what I call optimal. Uh, it's so sad you can't fit a village here. I wish you could, because that would be like a perfect placement for the Monkeyopolis. But yeah, you know, we can't, life isn't always perfect. Okay, let's, now let's actually reorganize, you know, our farming setup a little. And we need to reorganize our defense as well. Okay, yeah. So you could fit, since there are huge gaps, you could fit like a village. Just move the farms there. And then you fit like a village and then that's part of the puzzle. Let's sell this guy. We're going to read you for, you know, overclocks. Come on. Oh, that's pain. No village pain. That is Spain, but without the S. Now, ideally, we could get a village here, and it won't affect the farming placements. Oh, it does affect them. That farm seems so close to fitting. Yeah, if we put it here, we can't... Oh, we can't fit a village. Okay, there we go. This is actually pretty optimal. And we put drag this farm closer to the monkey city. Can we do that? No, we can't. Oh, well. Okay, so this is optimal farming arrangements. But now what do we do for defense? That's the question, because we don't have much space. Yeah, ideally the defense does not interfere with the space. Maybe snipers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snipers are great in space tight areas. Or we could go super compact and get a ray of doom, which I think that's what we're gonna do. Oh great. Okay, give me the ray of doom, please. I need it now. Okay. Lock it here. And please tell me I could rebuild the farm. Your farm placements are so tight. I 
I know you could fit a fog in here. I'm pretty certain you can. But yeah, the reason why I'm trying to get this optimal farm placement is because we need to get a ton of farms. We need to really maximize farming on this map. There we go. The second farm is not in range of a city, but it's fine. Two farms, one not in range of a city, is greater than one farm in range of a city. Okay, these farms seem pretty clean to me. Let's turn fast to forward just to two. Oh, great. Uh, emergency unlock. I don't like emergency unlock. This using the ability just makes the darling chase. And to make it not chase, I needed that sniper. And, to, and since I needed that sniper, that delayed a lot of... I don't know. It just wasn't good. So let's go for an Opolis. But I think to get a good Opolis, we need like 10x Ultra Boost on it. Ultra Boost are kind of needed on this map. But before we go for Opolis, we have to fill in the blanks with Engineers. And they're so effing tight, it's ridiculous. Yep, that's pretty much all I could fit. Hopefully it's nine. It's enough. So it's nine. Nope, nine is not enough. Okay, we sold one farm and now we have enough. The Ray of Doom should be locked more optimally. Now we're going to do some funny ultra boosting tactics here. But we need money to do them. So here you go, here's funny ultra boosting tactics. Ugh. No favorite trade is actually kind of pain. Maybe I don't want to do the funny ultra boosting tactics just yet. Actually, no, I'll do them. Nine. And 10 Ultra Boost, nice. And let's just gradually Ultra Boost the Opolis as well. Uh, so I think, will we have enough for Paragon Tier 3 without like selling too much farms? I'm actually not sure. I don't think we should Opolis before tier 3 because then if we have to sell the Opolis, then the game is kind of over. Okay, now 
Now, if we don't sell the offer list, then we still have great chances. Still, though, I'm still cut pretty worried about tier 5. I'm pretty worried about that. Okay, now how will I, okay, chat. How will I, like, where should I put the Paragon? Let's get full auto. There we go. So... Uh, the Sophilus still doesn't have that much range, she'll think. Okay, okay, okay. I actually think we need around five ultra boost ish for the Opolis. Forty five, but still forty five K Opolis. We need more, more OCs too. More OCs, more power. Still 45k, right? How many five? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. A 9 Xopolis and Geoda. That ain't bad. No, I think we will have enough for Paragon without selling. It's tight, but I think we have enough. With, set, with them selling, we easily have enough. But you know, selling is not for chads. Unless you're playing like a super high level rate boss, in which case you sell. Okay, so chat. Where do I put my dot paragon? I do not want to sell my monkey city. Am I effed? Okay, so the gear goes around this way. Maybe here ish? I don't know. Oh god no. No 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 That ain't it What's nice is eighty three is long. So hopefully if it's still if the paragon's still in range on eighty three it's 83 is long, if you know what I mean. Eighty-three, there we go. Now if we don't kill it on eight oh god. Now it's out of range. Yikes. And our opolis is tiny now. Okay, I think we got this. It, ideally, we should kill it on 83, though. Uh. 
Please attack, Paragon. Please. You could do it. You could do it. You could do it. You could do it. Do enough deeps. Do enough deeps. Do enough deeps. Okay, 21k left. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Just barely, though. So now we got a big Opalus, aka 10 times. It's not that big, but on this map it's big. Now we rebuild farms. Now, Nomics is kind of bad without Energizer. Oh, so annoying. Okay. More OCs. More OCs. Okay. So ideally we we for um tier four we need a degree sixty ace and for tier five we need a I mean for tier four we need a forty and for tier five we need like an an eighty or something. Eighty might not be doable. I'm not even sure if tier 5 is even possible. Oh, I should monkey city my opolis. Why am I not doing that? How is this not in range? Now it is. The central is making absolute bank. Same with the opolis as well. Fertilize, yada yada. Okay. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Ng paragon. That's what we could go for. Yeah yeah yeah. Ng guy. But that would kind of suck up all the yellow clocks, so we probably want it like tier 5 ish. We want a degree 40 NG. The NG guy actually will be a good asset. Okay, the big plan is absolutely demolishing everything that comes in his path now. We don't really have any useful ultra boost. Ideally, we don't have to sell farms to get the Ace Paragon. That's the ideal.
This should be an easy degree 40. But I, it, what we want to happen, and what we want is we want a degree 48 without while selling the least amount of problems possible. Now the question is, what degree if we make it now? If we make it now, it's only a 29. You know what? That's passable. I know I won like a 40, but now, but I can't really over green, if you know what I mean. I'm okay with a 29, because what other op options are there? For tier 4, it's not like that bad. The bad one is tier 5. So yeah, all we have to always make sure to tow them. And we have, I have to also get a big plane. Now, because we have money, we could add a dot paragraph because why not? Let's put the paragon about here. Oh, great. I forgot to get the second cross. Low master sub optimal. Which did we lose from that? I actually don't know. How is this not? We lost a hefty amount actually. We lost like 200k ish, I'd say. The apex wasn't actually far back enough. Damn. Well then, the apex actually needs to be even further back. That's what it means. So is here good? I actually don't know. Oh god, I didn't target the bombs. That's not good. Not targeting the bombs is equal to not good. Okay, 102. Come on. Is this optimal? Please. Please don't tell me it wasn't fall back enough again. Oh, and we just lost to the normals. Holy. Maybe we have a paragon for the normal balloons. You know, maybe it's we don't even need a dot paragon. Let's actually put the dot pig on pretty far back if we get it. Okay, but what else do we need? We need a super mines. Let's get a super mines here.
Okay, there we go. Oh god, I forgot to target bombs. SMH my head. Stop her gun is not in range. Ugh. Well then. Crap hit the fan. Okay, one more skull. And then ability. Now. Juicy ability. Okay. One more skull than done. One I think we are about to finish this. But that's just the beginning. That's only that's only tier four. That's the baby variation of tier 5. Tier 4 is a cute baby compared to a restless, you know, compared to like a restless attacker. That's comparing tier 4 and tier 5. Let's sell the big, the big, let's also sell the Goliath Doom ship because we need to get a lot of pops on the aces without dying. Okay. Bruh, I need the man. There you go, there you go, game. Uh, what else? Spectres, I guess. That's pretty much all I could do for the aces. And hope they defend. Oh, I could get, um, Sabotage. I'm not gonna get Grand Saboteur because it steals pops away from the Paragon. There you go. Now, now we're actually dealing with a balloons here. Now this handles it. There we go. Nice and easy. Okay, now now we get the ace pick on about here-ish. Uh, uh, yeah, here-ish. The big plane's hitting its pierce cap. Okay, 1 1.8, 1.08 mil. Oh, why am I overclocking the small plane instead of the big plane? Damn. We have to get totems every way. Okay, that might explain why.
Ai, ai, ai. Foo foul spooky. Jesus, that was spooky. Okay. Anyway. Even though that was spooky, well, okay. 1.8 mil, 2 mil. Damn, it's getting so many pops. Look at that. Okay, the DATs is kind of barely hanging on with the DDTs. The ZOMGs have a lot of easier thing for it. The ZOMGs are just better. You know, they have more RBE, which is good for the Paragon. They just have, they just have more of everything. Most big plane, there it is. Please tell me I didn't forget totems for two waves in a row. Okay, good. You know what, let's just get a huge ace and a measly 20 boomer. If I mean a measly 20 MNG. Sabotage. Come on. Good. Okay, one last wave. Or am I using a rejuve just for a 5,000 ability? I don't know. Okay. Now we could sell all the farms and all the NGs. And see our total. Our total is 2.5 mil. I'm not like absolutely a mind blow blown by that. It's probably less than I would have wanted to be real. This is just like enough for like a paragon and a, and a few extras. Paragon, what degree? 62, that's it? Okay, who cares, who cares? No, I don't even think I'm getting NG. Where's my glue? The ace paragon doesn't even do like significantly increased damage with glue. Anyway, I'll get it for you. Just for you, I'll get an, it the glue. You seem to love your glue a lot.
So this is pretty much just an ace pair gone slow, but we probably will do extra stuff, you know, to keep the balloons at bay. So for example, let's get two paragons. The dot and boomer. Ah, 19. 19 deg degree 19 paragons are the most frustrating things ever. I even sacrifice a glue just for you. Sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. Okay, Pomabu. Now these are just gonna help, you know, be like extra support for the balloons. You know, extras things that, you know, won't carry the damage, but, you know, certainly will help deal with, like, the remaining balloons, which are, like, very annoying. Especially, like, the Elite Defender and, like, the Snipers, you know, will handle the balloons with ease. You know, it won't get affected by the shield. I don't know. So we got everything we need for like the balloons. And we got like the vortex deeps, which is just this. Yep, that's kinda that's kinda where I mean, it probably where like 80% of our deeps to vortex is going coming from. Now let's press play, use bomb ability, and go. Go ham on Vortex Ace. Go ham Ace. The boomerang is not in range of Vortex. That's kind of rip. Retarget bombs. Okay. Blow back, nice. I think we're actually doing it. Make sure that the bombs are targeted correctly. Okay, okay. Twenty mil left. Nineteen mil. I'm sad I can't use my beloved tax zone for this. That just did insane. Let's just wait for the skull to pop. Destroy the skull, destroy the skull. Okay. Bombs. Bomb, bombs coming, bombs coming, bomb, bombs coming. The vortex doesn't even care about them. Actually, the vortex does. Okay. Please tell me that the ace won't get stunned, and please tell me that like the waves won't shift too good fast. I mean, what another ace ability? Come on, eleven mil. 9.1. Okay, nice. 8 mil. 8 millos, come on. Bomb. Nice. Okay, now it can't stun the towers, and I think we completed it. Three mil. 27, 26, 25, 24, 23. The final countdown. 
do 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 bombing run 1.1 bombs are coming done let's go vortex elite on geared is indeed possible gg I'm too good at the game for the impossible to be impossible. It only took a few retries. Anyway, bye-bye.